Sweet Eats today, the day I'm filming this, Saturday 25 May 2024. I've done it in candy bar form as one bar. I've done it in the king size or extra large candy bar size and I've done two of the regular size and this time it's going to be in kiss form. So it's Hershey, Hershey's Cookies and Cream Kisses. So instead of their recipe, I don't know if there's a different recipe, um, but it's still the cookies and cream. I'm doing it in the Hershey's Kisses for this time. And I'm Tannis Corley Leonardi. She, her, hers of Seattle. It's my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonardi. At least currently. And I'm going to do the full package. There's a fair amount here. And I'm going to use the bag as my receptacle. So as I unwrap each of these little cases, I'm going to put the wrapper in here. It is 2.2 ounces for one. And it the whole thing is 320 calories. That's pretty good. And it was a dollar twenty-five cents from the Dollar Tree location on Highway Ninety Nine in Edmonds, Washington, Snate, State, Snate, State. All right, so you can see the cream outside and the little cookies. It tastes like cream. Soft white chocolate. And it's got that cookie. It's not quite a crunch, but it's a crunch kind of thing. So I've talked about a truth market on this channel before. Like there's a bull market and a bear market. I was like, well, if I got, I got my truth market or society has a truth market, what might our mascot be? And I was like, Russian hamsters. They're very active, right? Okay. And they get a lot done, especially during the night. And they're very cute and they're very small. So what are the definitions? And can I define a Russian hamster market? This is like a bull market or a bear market, like economically. So not to be confused with a market where they sell Russian hamsters. Up first. Eternal slash eternity invoked. We do we doing things to get it right super long term. Yes. So that's the first one. First bullet point. Second bullet point. We love animal animals. Does not have to be all species. With an emphasis on wild animals and keeping at least some wild animals wild slash feral. So you don't have to love all animals. But some. At least some. Okay. Third bullet point. Every Russian hamster human either does not reproduce or is dominantly reliant on those humans who do not reproduce. Which is what? Consistently through human history, humans do not reproduce. And 10 to 20% of the population. Me. Over 1.6 billion people these days. And then the, the people are reliant on them. So if a family had... If parents had kids. Let's say two kids. And one kid had children. And one did not. If they were more reliant on the person who did not have kids. Then they'd be part of the Russian hamster market. And then, perhaps most importantly. In all caps. The fourth bullet point. We, all caps. We are nimble, small, and quick. And all caps and go back to sentence case. We are dedicated to evading kicks from the hooves of the bulls of the bull market, as well as evading being s smushed to death by being stepped on by the bears of the bear market. Mm -hmm. And guess the shape of a Hershey's kiss. It's eye-opening because hamsters are so, Russian hamsters are so small that the falling poop of a bear or a bull could care, kill a hamster. Especially if it, the hamster got stuck in the poop and couldn't get out.
You saw what we get for getting the fleas of the bear while it was hibernating. I don't know. Alright. So those are my Russian hamster definitions. Also known as a truth market. Oh, look at all the cookies in this one. Anything else? So, a while back I made a video on my channel. If I had a million dollars, I would buy a piece of tantalite. I'm going to put a, that was like a lump sum million dollars. So if I move in with my boyfriend, Josh Kirk, and he gives me a million dollars to write a book, I would not call that the same kind of one million dollars, though I might still want that piece of tantalite. So, if something like that happened, we might see if we can get the piece of tantalite, if it's still around, you know. For less than a million dollars, so I can use some of that money to write the book. No. But I thought I would draw attention to that because I've brought up a million dollars in a different sense since making that video. There we go. I should provide clarity. That, that particular video was like a. Oh. There's a different one, different one, it's like, oh, it's still a million dollars, like I'm getting paid, but I, 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 there's work product there. And maybe if we're living together and we acquire the piece of tantalite, that entire storyline would make the autobiography, the autobiography. How are they? They're getting sweeter. This is a good... This is something that... How do I phrase it? At a previous point in my life, it would be something I would snack on, like, all morning. All right, I have breakfast. Or eat one go, but. The wrappers help in kind of a, uh oh, this one lost its top. It broke, well, not lost, it broke. It came off. It's a like appetite regulation. The wrappers. You mean I gotta work for my food? We have a cloudy day today. I have not decided if I'm going to go for my walk on or not. And I should say, for the Russian hamster market, it doesn't have to be the person's Children. So if somebody's had children, they don't have to be reliant on their children who haven't had kids. Right. Being reliant on someone who has not had human children or someone's, it doesn't have to be family. Like somebody who watches my YouTube videos and is reliant on me and I haven't reproduced, they're eligible to be a Russian hamster. Or interact with me in person. And or, you know, the purpose there is very different thought processes and planning and goals and stuff. And it, it, even if different, not different, the actual attainment of those things, it's not conflicted time-wise when people don't have kids. 
in terms of competing with children. So the logistics of it are different. Okay, we have 36 out of 10. It's good. Okay. Happy Sweeties. And Hershey's Cookies and Cream Kisses. Mm -hmm. And we can film this Saturday, 25 May, 2024.